guys welcome back in this video i will show you that how we can handle the mongoose duplicate key error in the production mode for example if i go to my postman and let me save this route first of all so that is reset password so reset password um let's save it first of all and close this one this one also save it and now if i go to the register user and if i register the user with the same email click on send from here you will see that we get an error here that is the uh, duplicate key error so we have to handle in the production mode we have to send the proper message so you can see that in the error we have code of 11000 so we can go to our vs code in the middle viewers error.js we can simply here type first of all handling the mongoose dupli duplicate key error and then we can still type here that if err dot code uh, equals to eleven thousand then we simply have to const message will be equal to i'll type here duplicate and then i have to add the key here so object dot keys and you have to put in here the error dot key value okay if i go back to my postman to show you you can see that here so the key value here is the email so this is a duplicate because you have to display this one so now if i go back uh, to my vs code let's simply send it so error will be equal to this one also simply save it and now if i go to the production mode npm run prod to run in the production mode and now if i go back to my postman click on send from here you will see duplicate email entered so it is working properly and now we have to handle the wrong jwt token error so for that i simply have to go back to my vs code and here i will simply type that handling handling wrong jwt error and i will simply uh, let's copy this one so if the error dot name will be json web token error so if, if the error dot name is json web token error then we simply have to send the message that json web token is invalid try again okay and then we also have to copy it we have to also handle the expired so handling expired jwt token error and if it is equal to token token expired error then simply have to type here json uh, sorry json web token is expired all right so whenever the token is expired we will get this message and whenever we the token is invalid we get this message simple as that all right so we are done with our authentication i hope that you understand each and everything if there is still any confusion about anything in this section you can definitely ask me a question i am always here to help you okay so i will see you in the next section